Hello and welcome to episode 33 of the Game Dev Tutorials. Really starting to get up there. Um, today I want to do uh, mobs that shoot. I'm going to call them an ancient imp. Um, the steps to do that, we're going to create the ancient imp class. Uh, we're also going to create an acid splash for the projectile class. It's just like a green fireball looking thing. Um, you'll have all the art for this. We're going to just use the blue imp that we have, and then we'll use the green acid splash thing. I think you guys all have these. Um, if not, let me know. I'm happy to add them. <laughs> I just, I think I already gave them. Uh, all right, so we're going to override the AI in order for it to stop and then shoot when in range. Um, yeah, and then... We are going to uh, edit the all objects list. That's a list that's coming out of like a world, I think. Um, it's not including heroes yet, so that's actually kind of a bug that we've created, but we'll fix it, no big deal. Um, so that that's what we're gonna do today. It's a little bit more on the simpler side, but um, you know, AI can be interesting to go through. So um, this is a pretty simple AI, but seeing it done 20, 30 times, kind of helps. All right, let's jump in. I'm actually going to create the um, acid splash first. So in projectiles, we have fireball. Just copy that, paste it. For now, the only thing that's going to change on this is that it's, it's green. So we'll call it acid splash. And then copy that. Oh, well, you know what? We are actually going to change a few things. I'm sorry. We're going to do. Um, we're going to change its speed. Let's go in here. Uh, go to definition, speed, and then the time. So we'll remember timer. Speed. Click the wrong one. There we go. And the timer. So we're gonna we're gonna edit these. We're gonna have it go a little longer. But we're gonna have it move a little slower so we can dodge it. Um, at least that's the goal. Kind of want to have a little bit of a bullet hell feeling, hopefully, um, in this game. Our towers will be firing at them. They'll be firing at us. Um, it'll be kind of a bullet hell-y tower defense kind of thing. Um, at least is what I'm going for now. Um, okay, so it runs a little longer but moves a little slower. There's our, our acid splash. Oh, we need to put in the art. And this will tell me if I've given it to you or not. I have. There it is, acid ball. So, again, let me know if it's not there, but I was pretty sure I had sent this over, as well as a bunch of the mobs, right? I have the, the imp blue, which is what we use, I believe, for ancient imp. So, um, next, let's add the ancient imp. So it's just an imp, right? Um, so we might as well start with that. Copy, paste. And then if I can spell ancient correctly. Ancient imp, okay. So right now the ancient imp is literally an imp. Now it just looks like one. Now it no longer looks like one. Yep. And uh, what we're going to do here is we are going to override our AI file. So public override void AI. Happy days. All right. Um, we'll get into the AI in just a second. I do want to fix the issue with the all objects so I'm gonna jump in here oops that's not what I wanted this one and then so in here we're gonna say if hero not equal null and then temp objects dot add hero Minor bit there, but um, the projectiles won't. This this is the list of everything that gets passed into uh, projectiles and other things. So the projectiles won't hit anything if they don't have this the hero in there. Well, they won't hit the hero. Um, so yeah, that's that. Minor, 
but without that this doesn't work um, and now for our AI so what we want to do is we want our ancient imp to kind of to shoot at the hero to do that we need to have the ancient imp move towards the hero um, because it needs to try to be within range um, when in range it needs to stop and shoot um, so that's uh, a timer at the very least um, and uh, yeah I mean that's what that is it's a timer and then maybe the fact that it's trying to fire as a bull um, and otherwise we want to walk towards the the hero which that's what this is doing this already walks us towards the hero so we want to do something or we want to walk towards the hero something right something is um, if our first of all we want to make sure the hero exists um, because if we don't then it could break so here enemy dot hero not null okay and we want to do it when we're within range okay so we don't know ranges right so let's I think it's a good idea if all mobs have a range so let's say public uh, float and then attack range and here we'll say attack range equals I don't know 50 for now um, and then that's just for all mobs just to set a little standard that would be like melee range I guess and then for our wonderful ancient imp we're gonna have a range of 400 okay um, our speed two is fine uh, we need to have an attack timer also so that's probably a good thing for mob as well so here we go uh, attack timer equals new MC timer uh, maybe 3500 that's probably fine okay um, so we now have an attack range to compare things against so let's get the distance so globals dot get distance then the distance will be between our mob here and the enemy hero pose okay uh, and that has to be less than uh, attack range say times 0.9f um, this means you're gonna get within range by a decent amount before you start firing um, and that's gonna make sure that by the time it fires you're probably still within range um, this can be much more complicated and it probably should be eventually but for now this is gonna serve our purposes and then we have something to we, we want a bool to say if we are already attacking so we get in here within the distance uh, let's say our hero does manage to move out of distance I actually want him to fire I want him to finish firing He's, we've started the the animation we're not gonna have an animation but we're gonna pretend we're starting the casting animation and it's gonna go off regardless of how far away the guy gets um, now we can change that but that's what we're doing for this specific um, piece so in mob, I'm going to say, uh, maybe not mob. No. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it in mob. Is attacking. Is attacking. It goes false. Um, and then here we're going to say oh or is attacking so is attacking equals true just by getting in here so it's false here which is why we have the or so we get in range we're going to flip it to true and then inside the if statement for firing we'll say is attacking equals false um now we need to update our timer here so uh, let's say attack timer dot update timer 
then attack timer dot test, and then attack timer dot reset to zero. All the basic stuff for timers are in now. And then here we're going to fire the projectile. After we fire the, fire the projectile, attacking is false. If it's in range, it'll come back in here and we'll fire again. If the character has left range, then we're going to go back to moving. Right? Okay. So let's fire a projectile. To do that, we have that code in hero right here. Um, we're going to change this to acid splash. Wish my mouse wasn't in the way. There we go. Uh, we're going to start at the position of the the unit. We're passing in the unit itself as the ca as the caster or owner of the thing. Um, and then we are not doing it at the mouse position. We're doing it at the enemy hero pose. There we go. And then same thing goes here. OK, so at this point, we are firing a projectile towards the hero as he is right now. And then we're resetting this process. Um, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is we need to add ancient imps. So here in level two, in the middle uh, spawn point only, we are going to add, boy, I hope I'm spelling this right. A-N-C-I-E-N-T. Yeah, I think that's correct. Okay, so now in the middle spawn point only, the ancient imps can spawn. So this is a relatively rare mob. Um, but as you can imagine, if a couple of these get on the screen, it's going to be a pain in the butt. So we need to take them out. Um, that's kind of, this is adding a whole other layer to our, our gameplay. Um, we have mobs running at us. We have the spiderlings trying to get to the tower. And now we're going to have mobs that are trying to stay around us somewhat, but they're also shooting at us so um cool let's run this let's make sure it works do 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 all right there we go play level two only is where it's at we'll see the character come in here should oh there's one and he fires and he fires so now i get out of the range he starts moving oh getting a little bit of lag but that's probably just too much crap open on my computer and we're fine. We're going to get hit by it on purpose. You can see it's kicking our butt. Oh my gosh, two of these suckers. Pretty cool. Okay, so we have added an ancient imp mob or a mob that fires. Oh, jeez, you got to pay attention. And dead. Um, probably slow that down a little bit. That seemed a little bit fast. I thought that might feel good. It didn't. It was a little too fast. Um, but nonetheless, that's what we were trying to do for today. Uh, we now have a whole other layer of um, difficulty as well as uh, a new kind of AI, though it is still quite simple. It's more complicated than the, more, the previous AIs. Um, cool, yeah, if you guys like this, make sure you uh, hit that like button. The like button really does help spread the video, so please, please hit the like button. Um, subscribe, please, if you haven't. Um, both of those things tell YouTube that this channel is worth watching. Um, and then, if this is helping you out, please consider Patreon um, so that we can get some better art going on in here and, and we can really grow this channel. All right, guys, um, that's it for this week, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Have a good one.